Hi everybody, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. This is the reading for every single day. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday from the 18th till the 24th and then I've got the big Akana cards again. I did have positive reactions um, from people and uh, so you can either use this reading as your weekly reading Monday Wednesday and Friday or you can combine it with one two or three with your day card so you can load it down or you can come back to it every day and see and check up what the day card will be um, just to refresh your memory if you do look at it all at once so or you can take notes and just see what it resonates with you. Now the overall energy uh, from the 18th uh, to the 24th is uh, the mountains and the mountains means that um, it's advising you don't see problems where there are no problems. You don't have to climb the mountain you can take the path you can see the deer there and the deer is walking on the path. He's taking his time and he's doing it his way. So don't make an um, don't make an elephant out of a fly. That is the English saying, but in Holland we say, don't make a mountain out of a molehill. So don't make something bigger than what it really is. You've got number 21, one and two is three. That means creativity. So be creative with how you go about handling things. For everything there is a solution or a loophole. Boom. There you go. That's an extra message, a loophole. Um, so for somebody it might mean something specific. Um, and you've got the Eight of Clover and the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands means that you might be traveling this week. Okay. Um, and you will be receiving news all things might be happening very fast and all at once it won't rain it will just pour you will get news boom there you go and that is the overall uh, energy of this week then we go start off with Saturday the let me have a look perhaps I'm getting my dates wrong <laughs> Saturday the 18th sorry it's not Monday the 18th we've got Saturday the 18th we've got the ring you might be getting married or you might be getting proposed to or you might be forming an other sort of partnership as the ring resembles partnership okay we've got number seven two and five seven so luck is on your side uh, so you could be forming a partnership in business or in love but we also have the ace of ones so there is action action creativeness passion you might meet a new passion that will turn out into a steady love a steady partnership okay and logic so you might be meeting uh, somebody new or you might be strategically planning to get married and how to do that and you're undertaking action to organize the wedding wow beautiful now we're going on to Sunday the 19th you are in balance you've got number two and you are also six of Pentacles so you might be getting a gift if you are uh, less fortunate somebody might give you a gift or somebody might just give you a helping hand a listening ear if you are fortunate you might giving might be giving a helping hand or a gift to the less fortunate your luck is here. Wow, very, very lucky. It's a good weekend. Then we go on to the Monday, Monday the 9th, uh, 18th, 19th, 20th. Your boat is coming in. Your creativity, also again a creative day, is paying off. Your boats are coming in as boats were used to import and export goods transportation so you could also be moving home perhaps 
or going on holiday and it is an airship so I would say an airship nowadays is an aeroplane not a boat but I think you could also be traveling by boat because it's a boat but also airship is the aeroplane you have the ten of clubs which is the ten of swords so you might feel a little bit down because you might have backache literally or somebody might have stabbed you in the back well that friendship is finished or that partnership is finished and you're going on to a new beginning right here on Tuesday um, the 21st we have the dice the dice means you can take a gamble a gamble could be go and see a friend or go and visit a friend without making an appointment it would be all right you can take a gamble the angels are with you because 9 and 3 is 12 again being creative so you might um, be around in the neighborhood of a friend doing some shopping or seeing something else or doing something else and you think right you know I will go and see da 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 and they are home so take the gamble you can also buy a lottery ticket or a scratch card and you might be lucky because luck um, the, the week is lucky or especially on Sunday but you know that time is man-made on um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday we have the moon um, this um, the, the gamble can be with anything uh, like you've got all the four signs here so if you if your friend is a water sign earth sign air sign or a fire sign it doesn't matter there's no specific uh, significance of energy of the elements here it could be anything or anyone on Wednesday we have the eight of cups the eight of hearts the eight of cups means that you are bored you want excitement you want adventure well my advice is make sure that you've got something new before you throw away the old you might be feeling out of balance because you're bored okay you try to be inventive you've got the creativity so be if uh, because you've got three here and this becomes a three because that's a, a three and nine is a twelve which becomes a three so you've got two threes okay so you uh, the angels are t uh, saying uh, use your brain use your creativity you can come out of that boredom come out of your head um, you've had plenty of time to think of what you want and how you're going to do it and where you're going or what you're going to do so take action you are on the right path because the moon is a spotlight uh, it illuminates things as well you are in the spotlight most probably on Wednesday you've got the dark side of the moon so there might be something that you don't know so do the research like take action and do the research and find out what you really want to do your emotions might be heightened a little bit um, because this is 18 19 20 21 so we are on the cusp we are coming into Leo so there you are that is the energy that you might be feeling uh, the fire the passion the action the creativity uh, the logic you might be out of logic <laughs> nothing seems to be logical because you are highly sensitive to the moon change okay well just bear with me like the eight of cups don't throw a pair of old shoes away before you've got a new pair you're on the right road because the light of the moon shines on the path and the path is your path to your northern note and your northern note is your wish your goal okay so you are on the right path but somebody might have an eye on you this could be a Pisces but you are in the spotlight remember that you are being recognized 
And then on Thursday we have the scythe. The scythe means that you are cutting away the old and harvesting and you're cutting a new path for yourself. You're done, you're letting go of the old and you are harvesting. And you've got number 10 and that means an ending, a new beginning. And you've got the jack of um, diamonds, the jack of a page of pentacles. So you might be meeting the page of pentacles which is Capricorn but don't exclude Virgo or Taurus. You will be getting news as well on uh, Thursday. Now we're going on Friday you might be meeting a man. A man that is loving and passionate, nurturing, caring, handsome because he is um, most probably um, a Pisces, a Cancer or a uh, a Scorpio as this is the Ace of Hearts. A new life love might enter your life if you're not hooked up or it could be just a special friend. Whether you're a man or a woman you could meet a new friend which is masculine or it could be a lady that is career orientated more like a man. Career orientated, steadfast, knows the business and doesn't take any BS. 2 and 8 is 10, again an ending, a new beginning, so this card is a confirming two new beginnings. You might be, um, be e the Ace of Hearts, the Ace of Cups is, um, it could be passion, it could be love, but it, you know, passion is a hobby, so you might start a new hobby, or you might e exercise a new love like a hobby. Now, if you have not chosen these cards or you want just these three cards, then the first card is the Devil. So this would be Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Let me go through that. But remember, time is man-made. So you could meet up with a Capricorn or you might um, be dealing with somebody that has a bad habit or an addiction if it isn't you. Walk away from these people. They are demanding. They can drain you, um, your energy and deplete you. So walk away from anybody that's manipulating you or uh, wants you to wants attention from you. That could also be a bad habit. So and ask, tell them to seek help from a professional if they have a bad habit. You can't help people that don't want to be helped. Don't be their backbone. They need to do the work themselves. Then around Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you have the lovers. You could be meeting a Gemini or your soulmate. Wow. Then we have on Friday, Thursday, Friday, we have Judgment. Judgment, is, I love this beautiful card. This, this, this is my favorite card in this deck. Judgment means a new beginning or a second chance. Wow. Okay, well that is the reading for this week for the 18th to the 24th. I hope you've enjoyed that. Oh, sorry, the 26th? No, the 24th, Friday the 24th. I'm getting my weeklies mixed up now with my dailies. <laughs> so this is from the 18th to the 24th. And the I hope you will enjoy the general weekly readings as well for each zodiac sign. So enjoy this week and take care and stay safe and see you in the life. Ciao, ciao, my lovelies.